Zylo hovered over the shimmering blue expanse, his eight eyes blinking rapidly. Zylo, a native of the arid, crimson planet Zarkon, had never seen anything like it. This was Earth, a world identified by his people through radio waves as abundant in a substance called water. Zarkonians relied on a thick, syrupy liquid they called Zyler for survival. Zyler was scarce and precious, used only for the most vital functions. Here, on Earth, water seemed to flow freely, filling vast oceans and sprawling across the sky in fluffy white shapes. Zylo carefully dipped a manipulator claw into the water. It felt cool and weightless, unlike anything he'd ever touched. Hesitantly, he brought it to his central maw and ingested a single drop. It was unlike anything he'd ever tasted. It wasn't food, not exactly, but it sent a jolt through his entire being, a wave of pure refreshment. He dipped his claw again, then again, his thirst growing with each sip. Back on Zarkon, news of Zylo's discovery spread like wildfire. The Council of Zarkon, desperate to solve their Zylar crisis, saw Earth's water as the answer. They devised a plan to harvest the water, discreetly at first, but their greed soon outgrew their caution. Massive Zylar sucking machines descended upon Earth, draining rivers and lakes at an alarming rate. The humans, of course, noticed. Panic ensued. What were these strange, metallic octopuses stealing their precious water? Soon, the skies were filled with fighter jets, firing at the Zarkonian machines. Zylo, horrified by the destruction, disobeyed orders and landed in a field. He used his universal translator to speak to a young human girl who approached him cautiously. He explained Zarkon's plight, the desperate need for water. The girl, whose name was Anya, listened intently. Though scared, she understood. Zylo wasn't a monster, just a creature trying to survive. Anya, with Zylo's help, devised a plan. Anya contacted world leaders, and Zylo, as an ambassador, negotiated a peace treaty. Zarkon would receive shipments of treated seawater, enough to sustain them, but not harm Earth's ecosystem. In return, Zarkon would share their advanced Zylar conserving technology. Zarkon and Earth entered a new era of cooperation. Zylo became a hero, a bridge between two vastly different worlds, all thanks to a single drop of water.